Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back everyone for some more scrapping with bolts. Thank you for coming back for clicking on the video. Okay, so there's some extreme aluminum as you can see. Thank you, Mr. Volt. You will be seeing some little pop-ups of info on the screen just to kind of help out. As you can see, some steel pieces. Last video, um, I was not able to do the recording, so I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, let us know if you like it like that. If you prefer a silent scrapping video or if you like the talking. I think I'm going to put up a poll. So, if you're watching this, go to our community section and check out the poll. If you like the talking or if you like the, you know, silent scrapping, then let us know. It's anonymous, so we won't see your vote and you will not hurt my feelings either way. We're just kind of like getting an you know, idea for this. Because we do have our voiceless channel. Um, but, I mean, if you guys prefer just to see some quiet scrapping, let us know. Otherwise, there's some stainless steel. Dirty stainless steel. And we do want to thank our members. So, thank you, thank you. Colorado She Diggers. She does have a channel, her and her daughter. So feel free to check that out. So there's some insulated copper wire. Uh, there is some more on the bottom too. And if you guys have some industrial areas nearby, check them out and see what type of businesses there are. Because chances are they're going to throw out some scrap. So get like a little notebook or something and write down like some places and just keep looking. How is everyone doing? We love to hear from you guys. So let us know how your scrapping's going. If you dumpster dive or if you just like to watch these kind of videos, let us know in the comments. And I want to say a big thank you again to Mr. Volt for putting up these notes because it does help. I mean, I'm not all professional with scrapping and I assume some of you are, some of you aren't. So if you don't know some of these metals, um, hopefully these notes help because I know he's putting them up for me and for you. So thank you Mr. Volt for that. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully it helps. You know, again, every scrapyard is different. So what works for us might not work for you. Um, what's, you know, said over here might be different for you where you're at. So just keep that in mind. But that's just, you know, a general, general idea of the stuff that's found in the dumpsters. We're trying to save more of our non ferrous so you guys don't really see too much of that. You know, when we show you guys these videos, Mr. Volt will find copper and brass and all that. But when you see like the unloading part of it, the scrapyard, like, later in the video, that's just steel. So everything is, you know, sorted out 
and then later he'll take it in. Um, but that's part of the scrapyard. They're pretty strict on the camera, so we can't really show you that. Um, but it just, it takes longer too. Like we pile up a lot of scrap, like uh, copper and brass, and, you know, the non-ferrous ones. So it's just piling up and, and adding up. So yeah, we'll get to it, but yeah, let us know what kind of scrap you guys do. some yellow brass and all of these little bits count I mean it all adds up so if you don't have a lot of space, if you don't have, you know, a big truck or van, all of these little pieces, you can easily put them, you know, in a tote, you can carry them in your car, in your bike. I don't know if you guys remember, but not that long ago, we found this huge, giant Santa Claus in the dumpster. So it was an inflatable Santa, and yeah, that thing was just ginormous. It was so big. It was torn, but we were able to sew it. Mr. Volt was able to get it lit up and inflated. And yeah, so we have a, a shorts video on our main channel, Volt Diving. Um, so we'll, we'll probably be adding something like that over here too but if you guys want to see that like how it went check out the shorts video because that thing is so so big it's huge that thing is like so big i they can probably see it from space it's like when we're inflating it and there was a plane going by and i'm like um, i wonder if they can see santa that's how big it was We find so many things while we're scrapping too. Stuff that can be repaired, projects, all kinds of stuff. So we are working on that. And even like the tin cans, I've been looking like for ideas on stuff to, you know, repurpose them. And I found some like really cute ideas for like Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. So yeah, let us know if you guys have any like creative ideas for scrap too. Like we have seen places driving by where they have like sculptures and all kinds of stuff, but I mean we don't got the space for all that, but little projects and stuff like that. We love that kind of stuff. So if you guys have any tips or ideas on like creative stuff that we can do with some of the scrap. Because we do scrap what we can, but we try to use things as much as possible. And we can't take every single bit and piece, but we try to do what we can with what we're able to take. Some little brass nuggets. <laughs> I was going to say chicken nuggets, but nope, those are brass. <laughs> so, Mr. Volt and I were up late last night, and... When he was working on the videos and we were watching TV, then he was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, me too. <laughs> we're like, what? Well, what's to eat? And then we're like thinking about the barbecue ribs. But uh, yeah, there's a place nearby that they make them so good. But of course, they were closed. <laughs> so we're like, uh, I wonder what's in their dumpsters. So much food, I bet, you know. 
<laughs> and we're like, oh no, we'll wait till tomorrow. So we got some fresh ribs today before we start doing this video and yeah, they were good, but that's what happens when you stay up late watching food channels and <laughs> yeah, don't do that people. <laughs> it just makes you hungry. Sometimes we'll find places like for plumbing or electrical and they just throw out so much good stuff. For the most part too, these places are really cool about dumpster diving. So it's kind of different than the retail dives. I mean, the retail, you have to be more quick and get out like before they see you, before they say anything. And then we notice like this type of stuff, I mean, they're pretty much fine with it. So Mr. Walt is able to take his time and really go through a lot of this stuff. Because if you just peek in and you know, you're not going to see all the stuff that's buried in there. And also, you should be wearing a mask too. Like, if you're going to be dealing with some of these dumpsters that have, you know, the fiberglass and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, just be careful out there again. Like, wear a mask if you need to. But, yeah, there's our trailer fully loaded and ready to go. And make sure to subscribe, like the video, and of course, have a great day. Bye.